We're glad you're with us today. As summer is nearing, it's likely you may have noticed pesky mosquitoes flying around already. Dr. Chris Christensen with Truly Nolan Pest Control is here with some tips on how to get rid of these pests. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Thank so you. We have a, a bigger problem now with mosquitoes, don't we? Well, yeah, we do. We, there was an insect that was imported about 15 years ago that's the formal name is Aedes albopictus, but it's uh, and known as the Asian tiger mosquito. Mm -hmm. And this mosquito is a daytime biter. And pr prior to that time, we just had our major mosquito pest was a nighttime biter, Culex pipiens, mostly feeds on birds. But this guy feeds during the day, and so it kind of ruined, you know, mowing the lawn, doing yard work, and that type of thing. And they are vicious biters. They are very painful when they bite and they really very aggressive. Uh, of course, the female mosquito needs to get some blood in order to produce eggs, and so she seeks blood from any kind of mammal, but humans are obviously a good So when choice. you're out there, you know, that's, that's meal time for the mosquitoes. Absolutely. Can you do some, what do you do to control this? Well, personally, you can put on mosquito repellents, and there are some, several good ones. Most of them contain the uh, chemical DEET, Mm -hmm. But for your own yard, you can hire a, private, a professional pest control company like ours, and, and we can spray the bushes and, and apply some insecticide under the, uh, the eaves of the house and so on, resting areas for these mosquitoes, and you'll kill some adult mosquitoes. The most important uh, thing about a professional uh, pest control uh, service is that they're going to do a full inspection of your home and area mm -hmm. and try and find some of those mosquito breeding sites and eliminate them. Uh, places with standing water. And, you know, you'd be surprised around your house, all of a sudden you find a five gallon bucket that's full of mosquitoes yeah. and water mm -hmm. or a wheelbarrow that hasn't been turned over or a, a gutter that's not draining properly. So all of these places are part of the inspection. It's an important part of mosquito control. And then the application of the insecticide usually made about every six weeks or when you start getting bitten again. So it's going to last for that long though. Yes. And, and if this is not just a bother being bitten. These are really nasty, nasty little critters. They can, can carry a lot of diseases too. That's right. The mosquito is the most dangerous animal in the world. Mm -hmm. They transmit things like malaria, yellow fever. And in our area, the encephalitis, the, the brain infections uh, like uh, West Nile virus, uh, the uh, uh, St. Louis encephalitis, Western equine encephalitis, and so on. These are generally um, uh, diseases that are found in birds, but then when the mosquito population gets high, they can often move over into humans, and it's what they call a dead-end disease. In other words, if a human gets it, they're very likely to die or else have some serious brain damage. So it's not a, it's not a, a, a something to, to take lightly, and mosquito control is something that's very important. All right. From Truly Nolan, we thank you very much for coming in here. Think it could be a bad year for mosquitoes? I never make those prognostications. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I think <laughs> could be. If there are any out there, it's a bad year for That's mosquitoes. Right. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for coming in.